Don't buy a new Toyota Tacoma without this must-have option. I made that mistake. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Don't buy a new Toyota Tacoma. Don't leave the lot without this option. I did it, I got home, I didn't even realize it, and I don't have it. What I'm talking about are the bed rails. Now, you can say, wait a minute, you do have bed rails. I do, I have the side bed rails, but I left the dealership without having the front rail thrown in. That's 50 bucks right there, 40 to 50 bucks, depending on where you get it. The side rails somewhere for the, the two of them um, in the eh, $150 range, something like that. And then of course you have the cleats as well for a set of four, they're about another 40 bucks or something like that. And let's face it, you have to have the side cleats, right? Otherwise you just have rails. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, gee, why is that so important? Well, there's a few reasons, particularly if you like to add things to your truck, like I do. Now, you can see I have the cleats on there, right? And of course, the cleats are adjustable. You unscrew the little hoochie here, and they slide back and forth, tighten it up. And they're excellent tie-down points. I've used these many times, just used them recently to drop off the bed rack that I had sold. Now, as I mentioned, I left without getting the front bed rail. You guys can see I don't have the same rail system like you have on the sides with the cleats in the front. It goes right down underneath where you can see all those bolts, those screw heads, right? That's where it attaches. There's two, three, four, five of them. The ones on the sides go on the same way and they come with the holes already or even the bolts like you can see there. So it's easy to add this after the fact, but why should you have to, right? I mean, you should be able to work this into your deal. It's not so expensive that the dealership's gonna turn you away. Now, I can add the front rail system, and I probably will. Uh, what I should have done, because I actually added it to my 2018, is before I traded that truck in, I should have just unscrewed it, and I could have added it to this truck. I just didn't think about it. And then, of course, when I worked the deal out on this truck, I didn't think about it again. For some reason, I assumed, probably because I had the 2018 that I had added it and was used to seeing it there, that it would come with the truck. Well, obviously, I was wrong. Now, what else can you do with this system? Well, there are a myriad, that's a lot, of products out there that utilize that side track or deck rail system to go ahead and put them on. For instance, the bed rack that I had, it bolted on via the side rail system so that you didn't have to drill anything, right? There are applications out there where you actually drill through the top of the deck cover, the deck rail. I would never want to do that, especially when it's so simple just to attach things utilizing this deck rail system. If you've never done it, it's very simple. It just has a little, um, I don't know what you want to call it, cover here on the side. It just pulls off and then you slip a little holder in there, typically threaded, and then you can bolt on whatever accessory or option that you want to add. Now, I'm looking at something else right now, and that is a sport bar, right? And it fastens on the same way. There's actually two ways you can put that on. I looked up the install instructions, and it states that you can go ahead and put the uh, sport bar on and then drill holes. I believe there are three or four of them down through your deck rail, down through the metal, and then bolt them from underneath on the uh, underneath the lip, which you would have if you didn't have, or I didn't have the rail system down here, right? You can access underneath there and just bolt them on to this bed cap. Um, I don't wanna do that. It also comes with fasteners that you can just put in the rail system here and then screw them down to hold them on. Much, much more handy way to do that. Up here in the front, there are all kinds of different holders, molly panels, things like that that you can get 
so that you can attach or affix or secure other things in the truck. Even if you have some sort of a, a storage unit uh, that you might want to put in the front of your truck, you can simply put a bracket down, go through the storage unit and fasten that in so that no prying hands can take it, right? I mean, if you have a storage unit in your truck, it can be picked up unless you fasten it down. And unfortunately, we have to do that these days because things seem to disappear. Um, again, it's very handy to have, not very costly. And I would say that if you, like me, didn't pay attention when you bought your truck and don't have that front rail, you can get that as well. It's about 50 bucks. Um, again, it's a simple bolt-on, two, four, five screws, not a big deal, and can come in handy for fastening things down. I have some recovery boards now that I'm looking to put inside the bed here, and my idea was, because I was thinking until I took a closer look, um, was to go ahead and put a couple of brackets hanging down from the bed rail system that I don't have in the front, and then go ahead and secure those with a lock so they were up against and out of the way um, the front of the bed, or the back of the bed, depending on how you look at it, I suppose, um, to secure them. But I don't have that option now since I don't have the track system in the front. Something that I'll be adding to the truck down the road. Um, definitely got to put one of those on my truck. So anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of go over that a little bit, maybe for anybody who's in the market looking for a Tacoma, make sure you have that system. It's an awesome system, and I think a lot of times it's just a, an afterthought, and then people go out and they spend that extra money. You know, about two, 200, 250 bucks all said and done with the cleats, when you could have just had it installed and rolled into the deal by the dealership. In other words, it should be a freebie. They're not that expensive for the dealer, especially given that they're buying them at cost, right? You're not paying that 100, 200% markup, uh, or they don't, that you have to if you buy it after the fact. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is the deck rail worth it? Do you ever use it? Do you have it? Do you have the cleats that came with it? You know, I also bought, uh, or when I bought that 2018 Tacoma, um, I had, as I mentioned, the side rails, but the cleats weren't included. So I actually had to go out and buy cleats because I didn't realize until further down the road when I was going to tie something down, I thought they were in the little storage cubbies underneath the back seats. They weren't. And I'm sure it was just an oversight of the dealer. At least that's what I choose to believe, but who knows. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.